I get very taken by different young milliners and their styles and sometimes an outfit can come together in a day and sometimes it takes a couple of weeks. I'm Flora MacDonald Johnston and I'm the fashion director at Koi Bird. So this is actually spring summer Tory Bird and I love it because the corset tree is a really fun kind of mix up with the stripes and I've got a vintage Giorgio Armani bag which I've had in my family for yonks and yonks and this hat was actually custom made for me by a wonderful milliner, young milliner called Philippa Cordozo. Um, and she took one look at the dress and we kind of planned it together and I just, you know, love the bows and the neutral colours um, and I wanted something quite bold. It varies year to year. I mean, I always write how people should do with Ascot and I think, quite frankly, do whatever comes first. If you find a phenomenal dress, don't give it up just because you find another great hat or if you find a great hat, don't give up, you know, something else. So I think it really depends. But the rule for me is never do one tone always have a bit of off-colour difference or try and contrast your colours because that's the whole point of racing. You've got to have a pop, you've got to have something a bit fun, a little bit different. Rewind a couple of years ago and even in the Royal Enclosure, dress lengths were really inching up kind of above the knee. Obviously, the Royal Enclosure has got to be one inch above. And I'm loving the fact that I'm seeing young, old, everyone alike embracing longer, floatier dresses. It's so chic, it's so smart. And I love the fact that people are dressing up. And in terms of hats, there is a lot of feathers and a lot of pink, lots of ostrich. And I think as, you know, to reflect on your comment, we have been starved from a millinery fashion for two years. And I think people are really embracing that sense of fun again, and I'm loving it. So this bag actually uh, belongs to my mom. She bought it in Hong Kong. So it's proper vintage Armani, and I absolutely love the shape and I love the plastic. And it's just a great iconic little clutch bag. And I think it's quite an interesting shape and it's definitely kind of come, everything's quite cyclical. And now you're seeing all these fabulous shaped bags. I mean, the Fendi Baguette is absolutely everywhere. And I think having quite a kind of odd hexagonal or box shaped bag uh, kind of jazzes up a natural dress. Because if this dress, you know, was with some, if I was wearing this just with some flats and a hat, I could be totally be on the beach. So I like the idea that you just glam it up a little bit with a little bit of bling and a good handbag.